G'day, Steve Morgan here from Australian Bass Tournaments and Fishing Monthly Magazine. And uh, I've got a bit of a, a scoop. We've been playing with some of the new prototype Shadow Rat Fat Jacks from Rapala. And these baits, and I've got a whole box of them here. This is sort of, uh, you know, tackle porn for all you tackle junkies out there. Um, we've got a whole lot of prototype baits here that um, the guys at Rapala have sent us. Now, the bait itself is a typical small, fat, deep diving brim crankbait. And uh, I've been working on it with Rapala for the last probably 18 months. We've been playing with different rattles and different sounds, different looks, uh, and this is what we've ended up with. It's a, um, it's a small, deep diving crankbait. It's got two hooks on it. Uh, it gets down to that uh, sort of two to four feet deep when you crank it, and uh, with any luck, the brim are gonna love it. We played with the, the different weightings on the inside, the different sounds from the rattles, you know. This one here is a fairly subtle sound. Uh, it's got um, little glass beads in it rather than, uh, rather than tungsten or brass beads in it. And it's a sound I think that the brim are really gonna like. But it's cool to finally get the hands on the prototypes here and we're down at the Port of Brisbane this morning to give them a try. Let's tie this fella on, see how he goes. So this is a standard brim crankbaiting outfit for me. It's a, um, it's a seven foot duff rods. It's got a, a 2500 size uh, spinning reel on it and I've got five pound straight through fluorocarbon on it. Now that, that might seem a little bit heavy but the structure we're gonna fish this morning is uh, reasonably nasty and I don't wanna lose my little prototypes that easily. So uh, we're gonna tie them straight on. There's no braid, there's no leader. Um, it's just straight through to the fluorocarbon and it gives it that stretch and the stealth that it needs for brim to bite. It's just a simple half lock blood knot on there, onto the split ring and this lure is ready to fish. Now like most yellowfin you'll find that my, my retrieve is a straight uh, slow roll and when the brim bite you just keep on rolling slowly, no twitches, no jerks and the yellowfins they should jump straight on. So there's a little bit of current coming through this bridge at the moment and the pylons actually create little eddies behind each of them so the brim likes sitting there out of the current Great place for them to wait for a bit of food to come past. You know, prawn, bait fish. They're not real choosy. Anything that come past that can fit in that little mouth of theirs, it's fair game. Bite, bite, there he is. That's a decent brim on the Rapala crank. Sitting right in front of one of these little pylons. Oh, there's a whole heap of them following him too. But that is a good way to break in a new prototype. It's a cracking brim like that. And there you go, you see he's just nipped that, uh, nipped that lure, got hooked up with that VMC trevel on the end and uh, well we go, great start to testing. There's another one off the same pylon. A little bit smaller this fish, but uh, they're definitely not scared of it. And uh, that's two from two. Come here mate. All right, there's a couple off the bridge early. Let's see what else the Brisbane River has to offer. So we all know you can catch brim off bridge pylons, but what about the Rapala on something like this big floating barge in 50 foot of water? I'm gonna try the little black, see how she goes. A Little bit more open this water, fishing on three pound line, not the four pound. Again, a fair bit of current running through. Let's get a cast right up along this edge. See if we can get them to come out from underneath. Oh, bite, bite, there's one. 50 foot of water, <laughs> suspending up under the barge. Come here, mate. Oop. 
So there's the black starting to get the job done. Plenty of brim lined up along this barge, having a go at anything coming past. Only a little fella, that guy. Bite. Well, there's a little fella. And black is on the menu. So the blacks have uh, been pretty popular, so let's change to something a little bit different now. This is called the hollow brown gray fish. What you call the lure if you don't really know what to call it. A couple of black tiger stripes and that natural color that's tied on, see if they like that. Look at them all just there. Just see them all flashing. Right there, at the rod tip. <laughs> now that shows you not only how good that lure is, but how quiet that garment is, that fish eat it. He ate it right beside the electric motor, like two feet from it. He's a bit better fish. Right. Of course it'd be useful if I brought a net today, but there you go, he's absolutely, absolutely pounded that one on the second cast of the hollow brown greyfish or whatever it was called and was not scared of the boat doing it. Oh, right there. <laughs> Again, that fish ate it right off the wall, right beside the electric. That's crazy how, how brave these fish are when everything's quiet. Another one for the little shadow wrap. So of course, uh, what trip to Brisbane River would be complete without a trip to the luggage point? Uh, let's catch a nice couple of brim on these Rapala cranks and we're gonna get out of here. There he is. A nice reliable spot in Brisbane. I just wouldn't be eating him out of here. So there you go, we've had a cracking day fishing the, uh, oops, fishing the new Rapala cranks. I'm gonna let that fella go. This black one here in particular has taken a real hiding, but all of the colors we fished, we fished about half a dozen colors this morning, they all uh, did superbly. The only comment I have about them is I would probably downgrade those hooks to something a little bit, a little bit fine, a little bit sharp. I had a couple of fish drop off, but apart from that, man, they eat these things. Make sure you get a few in your tackle box.